are you an introvert or an extrovert? Nowadays, we're getting acquainted with all these niche psychological terms. But what do they actually mean? What makes an introvert different from an extrovert? And how do you know what type you are? The term introverts and extroverts was popularized by Carl Jung in his book Psychological Types. Extroverts gain energy towards encounters with other people, and they, di and they direct that energy towards other people. Meanwhile, introverts gain energy inwards and focus that energy to doing solitary and thoughtful activities with themselves. The popular myth surrounding introversion and extroversion is that introverts are shy and antisocial, while extroverts are loud and boisterous. And this couldn't be further from the truth. So it all comes down to where they get their energy from, either from inwards or from the outside world. Let's take a look at some examples. Let's say that you're finished with work and your boss invites you and all your coworkers for dinner. An extrovert might welcome this opportunity to spend time and get to know their coworkers during off hours. For extroverts, these kinds of activities energize them and makes them feel alive. On the other hand, for an introvert, the thought of interacting with coworkers or just people in general is exhausting, and they'd much rather go home and have some time to themselves. Other examples of differences can be things like what their career aspirations are. Extroverts would lean towards jobs that require constant engagement and networking, while introverts prefer jobs where they are able to work in solitude. Introverts listen more, think before they act, and they learn through observation. Meanwhile, extroverts are outgoing, action-oriented, and they make quick decisions. But it is also important to note that introversion and extroversion are not binary and that they exist in a spectrum. That means you can be somewhere in the middle. This is called ambiversion, which is when people can have introverted and extroverted traits depending, depending on, on the, the situation. situation. In conclusion, it's important to note that not everyone is a full-on introvert or extrovert, and that both traits are not inherently negative. We all have our own quirks and uniqueness. What matters is to make the most of what we have. Aris Darta and Deshana Prasastya for See Today.